everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a lipstick review. I love lipstick. I am so obsessed with all lipstick. I mean, I have to have it with me all the time. I have to have it in my purse, in my makeup bag, in my makeup drawer, at work. I have to have one in my drawer. I keep one in my pocket sometimes. I just think I'm addicted. I just love lipstick so much. And so when I went to Ulta this past weekend, I saw that Lipstick Queen has a new formula and it is called the Lip Dulgence Velvet Lip Powder. And so I was really intrigued by that. So I'd never seen anything like that before. And so I picked one up and I tried it on yesterday. I wore it all day and then I wore it all day today. And I really, really like it. It's very, very different. It comes in a tube like this, and I don't know if you can see the powder, but it's just this real fine powder. And so when you put it on, it just glides on and it kind of melts into your lips. But I'll show you here. If you can see, see that powder fall out a little bit? Uh, but it's, it's, it's just real fine and uh, it just kind of glides on and melts down and it just stays. I mean, it was really, really um, a good long lasting formula. And so I thought I'd share it with you. I normally wear a lip liner and I don't have any on right now. I took all my lipstick off. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lip liner on and then I'm gonna put this on for you and you can kind of see it. Um, I normally wear a MAC lip liner, but today I'm gonna wear this uh, Milani and it is just called the uh, Natural, Milani Natural. So let me put a little bit of this on for you and then I'll put this on. Okay, so here is this lip powder. I'm gonna show you up close so you can see this powder. Okay, so you just glide it on I can kind of taste it. <laughs> and it's just real like tingly for a minute. It's just kind of a cooling tingly, not like a, a menthol, not like a lip plumper but just a real light, cool feel. And it lasts about two or three minutes and then that'll go away. And it is just so soft and uh, comfortable. It feels light, like it's just a real light. I can't even explain it. You don't even feel like you have lipstick on. And so uh, I thought if you wanted to try it, it was about $19. And they came in about, uh, I think it only had about six shades. So the shade range was very limited. Um, a couple of really dark burgundy shades, but then I liked this sugar cookie. It, um, it's kind of a, a peachy tone. And so uh, I grabbed this one. I also found that MAC has a new lip line out and it's part of their um, Love Me lipstick. And it was this big display and I thought I would try one of these as well. So I got this in the shade under the covers. So I think this is kind of a, oh, I think I had it upside down for you. No, I didn't. I think it has kind of a romantic, I don't know, ad, the, the whole display was just kind of um, like a sexy ad and I was kind of, confused because I thought, well, wonder why they're not putting this out at Valentine's Day or something. But I went ahead and grabbed one and this is what the tube looks like. Isn't that pretty? So it's, it's a shiny, it's not the typical little matte black tube. It's a shiny tube with this real pretty rosy gold color on it. So let me take the lipstick queen off and I will try on the MAC for you. And that's coming off pretty easy. I don't think I had it um, on long enough for it to dry down. So, I'll take that off. And we will try 
the MAC under the covers. Now this one is a satin lipstick and I normally like a matte finish. I like it to just kind of stick and stay all day. But um, this is a satin and I did have to reapply it, but it's a gorgeous color. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the color and it's a rosy pink color. It's a little bit uh, pink, pinkier than I normally wear. I usually try to stay in the peachy brown family, but with my hair, but I had to try it. The other colors were too dark for me. This was the lightest color. And so it goes on, it's really comfortable. It goes on real soft and, and satiny feeling. Um, I, uh, I like this one as well. And it was also about $19. So, I thought I would just share with you my obsession with my lipsticks, and if you would like to go pick these up, I got them at Ulta. Um, if you have any questions about anything, uh, I can uh, answer those for you if you want to ask me something in the comments, or if you're interested in anything else, I would love to share anything you would like. I'll be happy to do another video for you. So, thank you so much for watching my lipstick obsession video, and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.